Hello, I'm Matt Evans, and welcome to Board Game Replay. In this series, you're going to be joining us for a post-game discussion where we talk about our experience and feature clips from some of the highlights during our session. Now, today we're going to be checking out Nemesis from Awaken Realms. This is currently up on Kickstarter. This is a prototype copy of the game. And this is a survival horror game for one to five players. Now, actually, with this game being on Kickstarter, they've actually already unlocked a number of stretch goals, uh, additional components, as well as additional game modes. So there's actually now a fully cooperative mode as well as a solo mode. But we're just going to be covering the base game um, sort of semi-cooperative one to five player experience. And one last thing I want to add before we get started is that this is not a paid preview. We weren't paid in any way to make this game. We just had the publisher reach out to us and ask us if we were interested in featuring this game. We said we would if it was something we liked. So here you go. At the start of a game of Nemesis, the players choose from one of the available classes, each featuring variable player powers in the form of a deck of action cards, as well as unique starting equipment. Players will also draw two secret objective cards and pick one to keep. This objective is an important mission from their mysterious employer, and fulfilling this objective is the only way for them to win the game. The game then begins with players waking up from hypersleep aboard a large spaceship called the Nemesis. They quickly realize that one of their fellow crew members has been killed while in hypersleep, and that their ship has been overrun with monstrous alien intruders. In addition, the engines may be damaged, and the navigation coordinates to Earth may have changed. They'll need to be checked before the ship's autopilot tries to hyperjump again. Between the aliens aboard the ship and their fellow crew members having their own interests in mind, nothing will be easy. On each player's turn, they'll have a hand of cards that they can use to take actions. They can use the cards for the action printed on them, or instead they can discard any card to perform a number of basic actions. As the players move around the ship, they're going to be revealing new room tiles that allow special actions that can only be performed in that room, as well as potential items that can be found with a search action. However, whenever a player enters a room, if there's no other figures present, they'll need to roll for noise. This represents the players hearing something in one of the nearby corridors during their movement. Depending on their role, things can be totally silent, or more likely, they'll be adding a noise token to the matching corridor. If there's ever a second token added to the corridor, an alien suddenly appears in the room, potentially causing a panic effect on the player, as well as making running away much more difficult. Players can of course attack an alien with a weapon if they've got one, but they don't go down easy. Now as I mentioned, the number one goal of all players is to survive. If they want to do that, they'll need to make sure the nemesis can get them safely back to Earth. Players can visit the cockpit to check or reset the coordinates. Also, they can visit the engine room to check or repair the engines. At least two of the three engines need to be working in order for the ship to jump. Alternatively, players can find the escape pod launch chambers and forget about the nemesis altogether. Each round after all players have taken their actions, all aliens sharing a room with players will make attacks. Then an event card will be drawn, which potentially moves aliens, as well as introducing additional challenges. Next, the time marker is advanced to the next space in the track. If this token reaches the end, the game ends immediately as the ship jumps to hyperspace, and any players not in their hibernation chambers, or who haven't already left in an escape pod, are killed. In addition, if the self-destruct sequence has been triggered, this token will be advanced as well. Lastly, the players draw from their decks back up to their hand size, and a new round begins. There's a lot happening in this game, and things get chaotic and scary very quickly. Running into too many aliens will have the player suffering serious wounds that add lasting negative effects. After four serious wounds, you're dead. Players can also become contaminated by the aliens, adding these coded contamination cards into their decks whenever a special alien attack occurs. At a glance, players won't know if they're actually infected by these cards until they rest and scan their card. But regardless, these cards take up space in their deck and can't be used for any actions. If a player finds out that they are infected, they'll need to quickly find their way to surgery before it's too late. Now there's a lot more to cover here, and we're going to be going into a lot more detail in our discussion today, but that should at least give you a basic idea of what's happening in Nemesis. I think with that being said, we can get to our game. Brian, I'm getting out of here. I'm panicked, man. I'm getting out of here. Suppress a fire. I've just got one ammo. Get the heck out of there. I'm getting out. Oh, I forgot. I'm just going to trust yeah. Brian and Hyrule. You know, I think he's a good guy. I am right The well being and survival of everyone on this ship is important. Don't you? I obviously agree with that. What do you mean? Yeah, I don't. I didn't believe Correct. that for a second. I, I'm telling you that he also wants 
us both to be hibernating. If you trust Jeremy, then you should trust me, for sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm spending one to hibernate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeremy is out of the game. He's he's stepping away. Suppressive fire. Oh, where's he going? Take okay, that. okay. Brian, remember you can't hurt anyone while they're in the hibernation I just was chamber. readjusting the concussion <laughs> grenade again. <laughs> Discarding to hibernate. Oh, oh yeah. man, that was up to me, dude. If we go Matt, to Mars, we need to live. We just, haven't checked. It's true, but just because I'm wiping but, dust off the bomb every second, Matt, doesn't mean you I'm gonna stop, use it. man. You're making me nervous. Okay, okay all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Player. I'm discarding this card to <laughs> attack with my flamethrower. I'm gonna roll at this uh, this kind gentleman here, and I roll the double damage. <laughs> lights and that lights the room on fire. That's all right. Another shot. That's on the Fox, side. Hold on. That's okay, another one damage. We got three. Two. Dead. Oh, he's dead. Get me out of this room, dude. I only have two cards left. I only have two cards left. I'm so scared. Fire, yeah, get out of the fire at least. Go to communication. Okay, so it's only a shot. one chance okay. of. So I'm in this room. I will roll for noise. It oh, might God. be safe. Please for... no two. Please no two. Oh, that's a two. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks, but what's the worst Brian? that happens? You just draw out of the deck. Clear. It's a larva token. Even better. All right, then my last card I'm gonna use is so risky is to flamethrower him so hard. Just please no so, X. So draw contaminate first, because when you uh, get larva, I gotta get you get immediate it. contamination. Come on. Well, you're rolling it on. Got him. He's dead. Yeah. Okay. He only has one help. Either way, I'm gonna run. Well, don't... discarding a search to move. I was gonna say you can search. That's where the extinguishers are, and you can get into that room. Uh, nothing. Nothing. And then another one to go back to the hibernatorium. We don't roll noise in there because yeah. we're, we're out of the game. You can't unhibernate, right? Another exclamation mark, so we're pretty safe there. You gonna hibernate? Uh, well, I, I kind of want to keep my hand for one see. more round and rest and get see if I can get rid of. Yeah, these no, stuff. I mean that's fine. See yeah. this this, this yeah, hesitation keep, scaring me. Get rid of all of them. I'm fire, keeping rest. Fire things. Event. Go. Sudden attack. All players who carry an intruder egg are attacked by a larva. I'm not attacked. Present in the room with no intruder. Make noise. <sighs> 50-50, man. What are the odds? Oh, it's still, oh, wow. that's three times in a row I rolled wow. that. Uh, dude, I'm so scared right, right now. So draw five cards. I got one. All right, so I'm going to discard so rest on my turn. That. Scanner. Give me the scanner. The MK4. It says not infected. Toss it. Woo. Woo. All right, All right so that's I'm out of the game. Nap. That's fine. Just take a nap. Now I'm just going to I'm gonna take a nap. I'm going to take a nap, dude. So I'm discarding another one to sleep. All right, we're close to coordinates. I, what, what is it? 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 Is it Mars? It was Earth. It was really? Earth. C763. Yes! Oh, man. Let's, let's find out what happens. Right, let's Mars. find out what happens. So let's, new new let's, do yeah, let's, let's, let's do this in the right order. Yes, let's do it in the right order. This is exciting. All right. All right, we actually ended a game. Whether or not we all survived is an entirely <laughs> different question. Just, just because I made happening. faces, talked weird, and threatened with grenades does not mean I wasn't telling the truth. <sighs> this, is, this is really... Each player... Okay, at the end of the game, each player reveals their current objective card. Here we go. Matt. All for one and one for all. At least three of the crew members must survive, including you. Enough of this corporate bullshit. We have to stick with one another, just like we always did. The oldest friend. Get the ship to Earth in one piece. Two engines must be working. Two engines, okay. Brian? Well, we had, like, almost the same one. Oh, really? Get the ship to Earth in one piece. Two engines must be working. Coordinates must lead to Earth. Salvaging the prime asset. Interesting. So the huh. ship was the prime asset in your case. Yeah. It's just the plus one. Di this different is player counts. Version. Different yeah. player counts. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So we wow. were all like, wow. Super, <laughs> there was we a full like, co-op game we just played right, right. there. So I thought you now were trying to kill me the first half right. of the game. Hang on, dude. I might. You said. I might. You guys won. All right. I might not have. All f all players who fulfilled their objectives uh, check all their contamination cards from their action deck with the scanner. Oh, that's right. Because if you're dead, you uh, your objective test. Not infected. I'm good. Oh. I'm good. Oh. Oh, that's good. We beat Woo. the game. So we all appear to have completed our personal objectives. And on top of that now, um, like we were just reading what would happen if you hadn't. So if you like, you got yeah. the, if you were infected, but then. So all players who fulfilled their objectives, you now check your contamination cards to see if you were infected or not. Um, right. If they were infected, um, you, you place a token on your character sheet, determine if the intruder had hatched during hibernation. Um, you shuffle your whole deck, uh, add in all the contamination cards, yes, and then do. draw the top four cards. And if any of those are contamination card, whether it was the infected or not, yep. um, you 
gave birth and die during hibernation. <laughs> so. so in that case with mine, uh, that was my interest. At, I was at the very end of the game. I was really, I wanted to get rid of that contamination card out of my deck. I had two of them. Both of them were not infected, but I didn't know that, of course. Right. You know exactly. So before I kind of knew that end game condition was coming, I just made sure to get rid of as many <laughs> contamination cards as possible yeah. just to, in case one of them was infected, I want to minimize the number yeah. of my decks. So. I mean, you could have sat there and spend turns scanning all of them, but each time you did that, oh, you would have spawned probably more right. monsters and... That's why it was getting so hairy at the end. Like so I like, can't, I can't believe that last turn too. Yeah. Three times in a row. I'm like during my runaway, it was three rolls in a row. Yeah. Total the silence. Ex yeah, Unbelievable. I think you got the exclamation point each time too. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, totally, yeah. totally. So it's not, not like you not even rolled the, the silence. You rolled the uh, immediate attack, but there was nothing. Around. I made a ton of noise stumbling into everything as I was running. I was but nothing like, happened to me nearby. <laughs> yeah, nothing heard me stumbling around. Yeah, I got the hell out of there as fast as I yeah. could. As you can see, there's a lot of noise on the board. We got very lucky to not trigger most of it. Yeah. Um, towards the end, I was doing some good work by like either ordering Brian or piggybacking off of him by moving into your space to make it so it was not an empty room. We weren't right. moving That's into huge, empty yeah. rooms as much as we could. So we were like following each other, uh, moving into the same room um, to not roll extra noise. Although we did get the event card, every almost every single turn was roll for noise. Yeah, yeah. so I would. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, made a lot of a lot of ways to minimize noise. Like I had, a, I played the scout so I could do oh, yeah. like reconnaissance. So I could. It was one of the only characters you could just discard a card and just move without rolling for noise. Yeah. So I, it was nice, quick way into the uh, the cockpit room, and those guys kind of went together, so the noise kind of traveled in a wave across the board. So that's why there's, it's literally everywhere. We never tried to double back. It was just kind of around the corner. So we almost yeah. ran out of tokens there. That so. was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we had a very interesting start. Uh, yeah, nobody trusted it. What anyone. happened yeah. on round one? Well, first of all, we screw up the turn order. <laughs> well, <laughs> so yeah. We're going to screw up the turn order, and I went first, even though it was supposed to be the captain. Either way, we moved together anyway. So right, so we moved together, like, right off the bat. And what... What was the first thing that happened? All right, I'm going to discard this to move over here. Would anybody like to come with me? I'm going to discard one. My demolition card. Brian, you want to come with? I don't think I want to. Okay, thanks. Kay. So next thing that we do is we reveal the yeah. token on top of the room. And it's in it. What does that mean? You make two noise rolls instead of one. Okay, so I'm in the room. I'm going to make the initial first noise roll here. We set the quantity of searchable items to three. I rolled a four, so that puts a, a noise token here. And I'll roll another one. Oh. God, it's an immediate intruder oh spawn in the first so, room. Draw the bag. So, Find the queen. Queen, in turn oh, one. Please, no queen. Dude, that thing sucks. I'm not going there, huh? Ooh. Ryan, why don't you come and help me? I'm glad Jeremy yeah. came here to this motion scan. It's the queen! What the fuck? What? <laughs> so, that's great. We'll put this guy right here. Yeah, I'm still not coming with you guys. Do you want to come in here now? So no, we'll put us here. I just hear that fallout of a vent. So the queen, like... Uh, she's really hard to kill, and and she basically, I think she's on just about every attack card. I mean, the vast majority of them, I think. Like, yeah. oh, that's got the queen, 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 queen. Yeah, queen, it, queen, it usually queen. goes high and then lower. It's never like only the low ones. You yeah, know? Ba basically everyone. I mean, almost every attack card has the queen attack, so yeah. she's almost guaranteed to hit you. And if you're and sitting, they, they hit room. really yeah. hard. So we got out of there pretty quick. We, that was yeah. a really weird start. It was, it was uh, such it was a crazy a stark contrast to the last game we played. We played with a four, and I think, I mean, just looking at the board right now, there's a ton of noise out here and i right. was mentioning we had kind of an, a lighter alien game right we didn't have a ton of aliens come out um a we got lucky and b we moved around together a lot. yes and on top of that we didn't have so this is interesting like multiple higher player counts are definitely going right. to affect like there's a really big difference in that's what i was gonna say players, yeah. imagine like look how close we are to spawning things imagine we had one just one other person moving around. right yeah, every that's, round that's another huge. movement or another set of movements. Yeah. You, you would spawn way more. Especially yeah. if they were working against us based off the... Yeah. We all were... Too. What was everyone's objective? Yeah. We, uh, we all thought each other was like lying to each other. We were all being I, I got nervous suspicious. from you. Yeah. I was just joking around with most of my stuff. But As you do all the time. Yeah. It, correct. Ruin it, yeah. Ruin it helps. All my whole thing was salvaging the prime asset. Get the, get ship, the ship back. Get yeah. the ship to Earth in one piece and make sure engines... Or two of the engines were working. Yep. And I had, I actually happened to have the same exact... Mechanically the same. Mechanically yeah, same. Yeah. It's, it was the three plus variant of that, but it's the same exact rules. I want to make sure at least three crew members survive, including yeah. myself. So basically which, like... Which, the, would, which wouldn't have been as hard in a four player, but that was literally make sure everyone survives. Yeah. Like, so no one could die. And I had a choice at the beginning, right? Yeah. I actually had a choice. I think my other one was, I'll have to look what it was, but it was... It was something about, I don't know if it was like damaging someone or maybe it was one of you guys couldn't survive. I thought it would be kind of fun because I would say, you know what, I can actually gain the trust of both players in this one and, and yeah. actually play it like essentially I'm playing cooperatively. Yeah. And playing the scientist, the scientist has abilities to be able to 
use yeah. like basically first of all I got I was able to use his, his special ability to study the intruder more giving us uh, a vulnerability to the intruder so making this fighting a little bit easier for these guys yeah. and then on top of that the scientist can activate computer rooms like he's really good at activating rooms with computers and he can do he has like a card called intranet which activates any room's ability from anywhere in the ship yeah, so as I long figured as you're that would be with a computer which is a lot of them yes you can activate another ability from anywhere so that, I thought that would be kind of a fun take. I'm like, you know what? I may <laughs> this will totally yeah. burn me out. And but I think that was cool. I mean, we yeah. essentially played this game full co-op. We were all right. all of our objectives didn't cross over. But until until the last round, we were oh still all god. questioning yeah. each other. Oh my god! That, I thought that tension was great, though. Yeah. I think it's it's got that same dead of yeah. winter vibe where you're like, we fully like, I have no reason to yeah. believe you. You're saying we're working together, but I have yeah. no reason to believe. You. It was really hard because <laughs> I I knew exactly what I needed, and I was like, oh, I'll just switch this here. But all I can do is tell them. They can't look unless they get over here. Right. And if they're that over here treacherous. and anyone needs to switch it, I'm over there now because they didn't yeah. they didn't flip them over. They just told yeah. me that they were there. And I'm like, now I gotta verify. But if someone switches, I'm gonna have to run all the way back. Yeah, right. Because so I know that's why I, know. I got nervous. Yeah. And the queen sitting on the engine room is the only way to flip the tokens. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It wasn't really any easy way to do this. The queen broke the engine room when she like she they remember she did a damage yeah, to the engine like room while she was in that, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah like she's so big. The one room where I was saying to everyone, hey, I'm just gonna reveal these and show you that this ship is good because it's a computer yeah, based she broke room. It, and then the fire spread to it. Like <laughs> <laughs> we had like all we actually had a really good a really good game for a fully yeah. cooperative experience too, and we just didn't even know it. Yeah. Because like any of the, anyone else's objective, like Brian could have had the send the ship to Mars, and then both of us would be oh, dead because yeah. we're yep. sleeping over here, going to Mars, and just die. Yeah. <laughs> so. I really like the core the core concept of the game. Like, oh, it's cool. It's aliens. You hunt them, and yeah, neat. But the whole idea of the primary goals and the personal objectives uh, tied into like the theme from like Aliens, right? Like yeah. you got like the guys and, in the ship that have their own corporate interests in right. mind, and that's what everybody has. They have a basic objective, like, dude, you got to survive, bring the ship back without blowing it up, please. But yeah. then. Like your your company is like no, make sure yeah. this gets done. This is really important. You, I love that. And you say hunt aliens, but no, no aliens hunt no. you. And this is the opposite of There's, hunting aliens. Like I, you I stayed a hell away from them. Yeah, I fought a, like the basic like normal alien, not the queen, not the the breeder, but the normal the alien. Yeah, the adult over here. It took me. I used an entire clip. Uh, I used a reload action, and then uh, an entire. Uh, I used the toolkit or no, an energy cell to reload my weapon again. And like, even then, I just barely killed it. Yeah, yeah. It was like I rolled miss, and like, and that was just the normal single alien. So, it was pretty crazy. You had a bunch of guns before, and <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't even fire a round. You did. Yeah. You had all the stockpile fire weapens. Well, it's you, easier. You'd, fi you'd fire suppressing rounds to leave once. <laughs> oh, yeah. Te yeah, technically, yeah. there's the card that uh, most people have: suppressing fire. Just, yeah, just a scientist. One of those. Like, there's certain cards that you know if you're gonna possibly go into a room that's got three places to spawn something. Probably hold on to that card. Don't lose yeah. it because it's a free escape. The first time we had played, we had four players and we had aliens all over the ship. We just, yeah. we, they were like within the first couple of rounds, they were all over us. Well, and we were yeah. wondering like, when's this, like this thing was ticking down so slow. Like this is a really long game. How are we going to go through that many rounds? Yeah. And like right in the middle of the game, there's an event in the event deck that essentially jumps this thing. If it's up here, it jumps immediately down to the next row, and so it really. Or yeah. if you're the pilot not reading your cards. As oh, yeah. oh yeah! Why did I know <laughs> that? The pilot has an action to jump it forward. I don't know how many, but yeah. That's right. We didn't have the pilot with us. Yeah, this time. It was that so we didn't have the pilot this key. time. But the last time, we were all talking about it, and then the person playing the pilot was like. No, oh, the what's person was complaining about it. <laughs> <laughs> this game's gonna be fifteen rounds. We're like, yeah, that does seem really long with four players. And hey, they what's were the like, pilot do? Emergency <laughs> jump. Oh, oh, you can jump <laughs> forward. So that yeah. was pretty funny. Was but funny. Uh, to be fair, we all like barely read yeah, our cards. Right. Like, anyway, it's very much a survival survival horror game uh, with a betrayer mechanism. Yeah. Uh, than than it is a tactical combat game is no tactical yeah. combat at all like the even the super giant stormtrooper dude with a machine gun his best card five is ammo. run away without taking damage yeah, yeah. You, that's yeah. it you start with five ammo yep you, like you, sh you don't get it back unless you get an energy cell or you can take the reload action gives you one ammo back. yeah right? and that's not even in all decks it's in right. certain it's one of the decks, cards so. in the whole deck so you get it maybe once every couple yeah. of rounds to get one ammo back no it's like you get an energy cell you get lucky but yeah it's cool though. I mean, I, I I like that element of the game. I I thought this with three players went went pretty well because it was was pretty quick and went fast. Yeah. Um, the, the fact that we were cooperating, I'm I'm sure that made it a little bit quicker because yeah. at one oh, point yeah. we we're just like, there was like a specific moment when yeah. it was kind of a showdown. We're like, you guys want to get in the hypertorium? I was gonna blow that door up, or do we want to just try going through that way? 
What's the benefit of the other rooms? Like, what happens if we all hibernate? Does, oh, yeah. Does it just Game end? Game land if we all just hibernate. Yes. That's true. Do you... So then... Matt, you hibernate first. <laughs> well, no, you hibernate first, because we know we're, we're buds. We're I looked at his objective. No, I'm not. I'm okay. not hibernating first. <laughs> Frank. You need I like this, like, first. standoff right now. No, I know exactly where we're going. If if I hibernate first, that's uh that's real easy to go change my coordinates and send us straight into Venus. Well, let's not let's or, not be ridiculous. It's not real easy. I mean, there's a lot of galaxies. There's a lot of corridors before we get there, and there are intruders on this ship. All right, let's all get into the same room, and we'll su we'll drink the Kool Aid together at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go to sleep. That's a good point. This is, this I don't big, think we technically can at the same time. This is a big trust fall. No, I know it, it has to be to one turn after the other. But right. So, and Matt goes last. So Matt, yeah. I don't trust Matt. Matt, can you get over to this room next turn? So we can um, all hibernate? Yeah, we're happy, I can. We're happy to get out of here? Well, right, right, I guess right. it all comes down to trusting Brian. <laughs> as soon as we go to sleep, Brian's just going to go burn this ship to the ground. Well, we, no. don't, we don't know it's going where it says it is. Well, that's it's, what I'm saying. If I hibernate... I told you exactly what they So if I hibernate, right, and then Brian doesn't hibernate, then it's then it's a fight between you two guys. That's true. You if can I hibernate, then Brian hibernates, then you can safely hibernate. You can ask me again... As long as I'll we... still tell you the coordinates are in the same order. But if Brian, no, I it's true. If Brian's hibernating, that means that then he's trusted. Okay, okay. But unless his mission says go to Mars. Oh, I know. I Mars, know. Was, Mars was B and we started on B. <laughs> Who's going first? You guys want to go to sleep? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. There's a couple rounds in. I, I was the captain, so I could look at another person's objective. Yes. So Matt was like, you should look at mine. Like, you need to look at mine. I'm like, uh, I don't know why he's so insistent, but I guess I, I should. Because so if it I, said kill Brian, you'd be like, all right. Great, yeah, because yeah. I was convinced Brian was here right. to like kill people. So I was just like, yeah, either make him die or just get him away from me was my thought at the time. And then I looked at Matt's. I mean, I don't necessarily know why I cared about Matt's objective. I don't care if he wins, but I guess I kind of did. Yeah. Because um, it doesn't matter if he wins, I can still win. But um, his neighbors. objective was, you know, let everybody stay alive. So I'm like, oh, we have to work together. I'm going to help you. Yeah. Right. You, you knew that. I mean, I helped you a little bit earlier right. in flipping an engine and right. telling you what I was. needed. Yeah. Because yeah. I needed to know that the engines were running for my objective. Yeah. And I mean, so did he, but we didn't know yeah. at the time. Oh, on that note, real quick, I just before I forget it, um, one thing I, I think is cool is uh, just a quick thing. Um, when you have like what you had just said about winning and victory conditions, I think that's really neat. I think a lot of games of Betrayer, it's either all or nothing, right? Mm -hmm. It's like either on the good guys or the bad guys. Either the good guys win or the Betrayer wins. I like that everybody has their own objective, and like ours could be completely polar right. opposites. Mine could be blow up the ship, and as long as you get like, maybe all yeah. you want to do is send the signal, get in an escape pod. Like I could be yeah. like, dude, I'm going to blow the ship up. Yeah. Like this is just FYI. And we can yeah. still work together because he doesn't give a damn you if tell, I finish You tell me when to blow it up. <laughs> like, if yeah. push comes to shove, he's going to be like, dude, I don't care about you at all. Yeah. But I think it's kind of neat that you you can cooperate, but not really. Like, yeah. Because we won together, but we didn't have to. The biggest assist is being able to move into a room with someone to not make noise. Because, like, not making noise is, is one of the biggest yeah. um, ways to lower the difficulty. Like, every time you make noise, even if you're not spawning something right now, you're just making it harder later. Cause like like if you again if you look at this board, a lot of these rooms like this room, it has three of the because the one's the vent which already has one in it. Yep. So three of the four will spawn a monster. This room, two of the four will spawn a monster. Like, oh no, three because this is a one to two. One like, to two. Yep. There's a lot of spaces where we, if we had to go into those rooms for any reason, like oh we re we need to fix an engine it just broke. Well, we got to go through all these rooms that have <laughs> and then it's either on fire, either have yeah. fire or they have yeah, yeah uh, that's aliens rough. waiting there for us. We didn't have many events that happened. No, we had, a, I mean, we, had we had one. That, yeah, it's that the came cube. It's still sitting it. there. Yeah, the technical corridors are an interesting part. Yeah, of the the al there a couple of aliens escaped into them. That was good for us. That helped us. That out. was yeah. oh yeah, that was the other reason why there weren't that many aliens. Two or three times the queen, the queen, and a couple of the other aliens went into the vents. Yes. So uh, yeah. we got lucky with that. A couple of these rooms have uh, maybe half of them, maybe fewer than half, but there's little, yeah. they call them technical corridors in this. I don't know if that's final translation, but like basically there's little vents and depending on what your die roll is for noise, they might, you'll put a noise token up here to track. And once there's two tokens there, instead of placing a second token, you get just rid like, of them. Yeah, just like you normally boom, it's in your room. So it's basically like a tunnel system that goes throughout the whole ship. Right. And like so like Brian can be over here, make noise here. Then I step into this room and make noise and then it just spawns in my room. comes right in. Not yeah, where Brian yeah, yeah. is. So it's, it's like a, a threat across the board, which is pretty cool. Pretty creepy, but we yeah. never actually got it to spawn, which is definitely yeah. interesting. Because you could definitely, uh, you could mess with people doing that. Like, is 
there's there's no like player versus player stuff in this. You can't. There, yeah, there you are certain the player versus there player are certain is, things are yeah. there are certain things you can do like you could you can huck a grenade like use an item. Some things interact with other players. Close, it doesn't do much. Close all the doors in the room. You can do that, <laughs> but you can also utilize the vents. Like you go to a place that you know is going to be uh, that has like a like a mark or you know there's a mark already in there. You go in and just try to keep re-rolling. Or if I was the commander, I could order you into yeah. that room. Yeah, yeah. and see get... if you can get it to trigger. Yeah, because you know someone else is going next. Because right. you know? like, yeah, there's multiple threats. Like, one of the worst things, even though it's like the smallest creature, is the uh, the larva because that instantly contaminates you. And contaminate yeah. is like it sucks. Like Matt was saying, you it's just like a, a gloom that like hangs over you for the whole game because like you need to either check it or just. Roll the dice right. and so escape. So what's interesting about that, just as a quick note here, so if you have one in your deck, which I, I had one here, I yeah. got it early in the game, if you have one in your deck, you have to be paying close attention to that because while this is in your deck, it actually screws your hand up. You keep yeah, drawing it. It's, it's a, a junk a card. card. You can't use it. Yeah. But if you're too early in the game and you go and heal this wound and it ends up being an infection card, now you immediately have, the basically gum. you have a chest yeah. burster inside you and you have to figure out how to get rid of it. So if you haven't found surgery yet... And you have this in you. There's an event card that can come out that just flat out kills you instantly. So you never quite know when that's yeah. going to come out. So it's like for me, I was like, you know what? I don't care if this card's infected. I'm just going to let it clog up my hand for now. So there's a, a really interesting push your luck element to that. It's it's, it's kind of cool. It doesn't make you a traitor. It just makes you get like infected. Yeah, it's just like a big. It's a cool little card that has the scanner thing. You got to like hold it over. Yeah, and, it's a really cool mechanic. I like that. It's like a instant threat you like instantly go ah crap now i have to deal with this it's just for you too like you said it's not it doesn't affect anybody else like, yeah. i don't care if you have one or i don't care unless, if you're infected yeah. three times yep it's like it doesn't affect me it just unless unless it's unless one of those things where like my objective is, is make sure yeah. that you're alive because maybe i want to start getting you over there or make, right. go with you to try and make sure you can get to certain or that's when you go well i'm drawing a secondary objective <laughs> yeah that, oh that's that's true that's yeah. a really good point too yes alternate goals are kind of fun we didn't actually get the drawing so but, yeah at any point you decide that either your mission's impossible or you just don't want to try to do what you have, you have one time during the game to draw a new alternate objective. Yeah, and it's uh, all of them are escape using an escape pod and Another can't thing. have a serious wound or be infected and then like take an intruder egg with you. So it's always from an escape pod but yep. and then a secondary yep. on top of that. So. And then you must have at least nice. seven items apart from starting equipment and escape pod. Just Send the signal. Nailed it. So like, yeah, that's I, I love that. I think that's really cool that if your objective becomes like either... Too hard to do, impossible to yeah, do. Like, you like, just say, screw this. Like, I, like if what if Brian died, I'd be like, well, I guess yeah, I'm not going to go. I'll just leave the escape pod. It's literally impossible at that That's point. That's cool. Yeah, so. I thought it was kind of neat that everybody has their own deck, too. Um, this is probably, you know, this is prototype form. And um, judging by the fact that we played, uh, we did the prototype for Lords of Hellas. And then, like, eight or nine months later, when we played the final game, a lot of things changed. Um, uh, quite a bit of design went in from even the Kickstarter level, like whether it was taking player yeah. suggestions and refinement and stuff. So I assume they're only going to do they're going to do more of that. And I've seen, I mean, the Kickstarter is absolutely bananas. Oh yeah, there's also a fifth character, the mechanic, which we didn't have in the prototype. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, and the, the medic, I think, it was a medic too. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. The yeah. Kickstarter is absolutely insane, and yeah. there's you know you can see the the link to that in the description. But I think it's really cool that all the characters kind of have the same basic set of things to do. Yeah, everybody has they a few have, common stuff. Um, like search and but repair. certain things like there's even certain actions like the repair action might be easier for the scientists the mechanic, or like or yeah. Or the, yeah so there's different skills like uh, this guy has the computer skills yeah and the, scientist the mechanic stuff, i think can move through the vent so i forget okay. uh, it's it's oh, pretty neat nice. too so but yeah i mean i think there's a there's a couple of like unique cards and then you even have like the same cards in each other's decks but they're better for certain characters than others so it's cool i mean the variable player power thing is kind of fun the captain has the order command he's the only guy that can just say hey dude go here yeah you, go you have that. to do it and, and that's the, so and cool another one that like interacts i have the motivation it's you and everyone in your space get to draw an extra card that's extra neat. card so if you're like hey man we're working together right like i did that a few times so like yeah. we're on the same page i'm going to show you that by giving you an extra action card because like yeah. if you were against me giving you an extra action card is bad it's bad it's, right it's yeah. going to help uh, you more than it would help me. Because I have to discard my card to draw one up. So, where you just get a net plus one. Mm -hmm. A lot of the items are pretty good. Yeah. And to use any item, you still need to discard a card. Yeah. But yeah. some of them are really... Like, screw that up a few closed, times. Closed, auto get rid of slime. I know that. Yeah, I still, had was, slime. I still had slime and panic. This one wasn't <laughs> a really big deal because slime just means that if you roll the miss symbol, it... It counts as like an auto as attack, the, yeah, the, but yeah. there was there was hardly any aliens right. on the board, yeah, it was so pretty light on it never aliens. mattered. Okay, all right, I'm gonna search. Search it up. this down to zero. Oh, Fire no. extinguisher. Oh. What did you Woo! What did you draw that out of? 
yellow. Put down the fire in the room you're in, or use it on the chosen intruder and immediately withdraws. Draw, an, uh, draw a card from the events deck to determine the direction of its withdrawal. Okay. Wait a minute. Didn't we get why, a bonus on that? Yeah, why does it For each intruder affected by fire, uh, they get one hit as well. So when they run away, they take a damage. So I'm going to move in here. I'm going to discard. Uh, do I want to follow you? And you want to come with me? I'm going to put the fire as soon as you get there. I'm going to okay. discard my base prepares. Follow you along. Okay. We don't now I, have have to roll, I had to roll for noise. Yeah. Right. So don't roll a two. Oh <laughs> uh, boy! I got a fire extinguisher. I can blast him. Any way to cancel noise or do a card? No, I didn't. Just, right, just so bring, bring draw the bag. Don't draw the queen. Don't no, no, draw the not queen. Not the queen. Not the queen. Not the queen. That's all right. I can help Please with that. Not the queen. Please not the queen. Oh good. It's okay. an old intruder. Normal intruder. intruder. That's fine. Wait. It goes to the person with the least cards. Matt. Uh, he's not going to attack. <laughs> Matt. He's not going to attack. At the end of the round. I got. I got. I can kill him. You kill. Him? I can. Yeah. I can shoot him a couple. Put times. the fire out. Uh, you think that's for? Oh yeah, serious move. Yeah. Before we right away, fire is coming out. Boom, done. Okay. So I can oh, discard. Uh, we do a panic. I'm gonna right. definitely panic, panic. Panic attack. Uh, four cards. I've got it. X. What is it? Draw another card after applying its effect. Take all panic cards. Create a new. Oh. Uh, so, so just this, that's this a, that's a reshuffle a marker. Yep. I do this one. One. Oh my <laughs> god! Are you kidding me? What does it say? That's I don't amazing. Know. What, what, what would have happened? Walking the way. If the player has less than one card in his hand. He puts a damage marker on the room and takes a panic. Oh my god, dude! That's like I just literally freak out, break everything. Shuffle it up when you get that's a chance. So good. That is ridiculously Woo! lucky. So I'm gonna fire at him. Son of a. That goes away. One one shot. Fire, so I'll discard side. this to shoot him again. Uh, um, hit him. Two, two damage, uh, but I can only do one. Is the most. So you I can do hurt. one. He's got five. Come on. So he's down one. I will discard another. Do you have I will discard my other search. I have one more. I'm gonna shoot him again just to get him weakened up. Uh, so that's one damage. Yes, yeah, so he takes one. So one. P. He runs. Oh. Yes. Yes. Where's yes. he run to? So uh, event card is that. And what direction is he gonna four. go? Four. He's gonna go to room four. Vents. Uh, oh wow! 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 Off the board. He this goes a very different game. Back in time. the bag. Back in the bag. This is actually Does much that more suspenseful. <laughs> Something about the. Uh, the actual rooms, um, there's a X number of rooms you can have, but you only draw so many from like the ones and twos. The ones, the, the, I just, think we just used the all the ones twos. Static. The two, twos. Yeah, Again, twos yeah. are static. Important caveat, like it's it might not be like that in the final game. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. That's what it is in the prototype, is that there's only certain number ones that can come up. The engine room is a number one. It might yeah. not even come up. Yeah. So, so there's so, some stuff that we saw last time we played that we didn't see this time. Of course, we still have four that we didn't flip over, but yeah. that, that can be it. You might not like, you might not get the shower room or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The ones are variable. I think the twos may stay that way because there's certain things like that are like Ex escape required. Hatches. Like you, yeah. have you to, need yeah. to have a surgery. <laughs> you you have to be able to send a signal. Yeah. Otherwise, most objectives Good point. don't work. Yeah, yeah there's a lot yeah. of objectives no. that say send signal or test the egg, and you yeah. need those rooms to do that or surgery. Like if you if you get infected and don't have the surgery, then you there's nothing you can you're tell. instantly dead versus having yeah, a way out. Yeah, so, comes up. So the, they're probably going to keep at least some things static, but. The, the fact that there are variable rooms is really cool. Uh, I actually I want to comment on the uh, the alien stuff. Um, when when you attack them, I actually like not only do I like their attack cards, it's they're a little unpredictable. Yeah. So like the crappier aliens, like the younger ones and stuff, when they you can flip still these do cards, yeah. they might not do anything because yeah. their card their icon doesn't show up on the card. But then there's other times where they might run away. Yeah. Um, but there's other times, but I like that's also their health. You flip this over and like. You never quite know how much health an alien has. I think that's thematically yeah. cool. You know, yeah. like it's you're each not time really... you know, you know, because you're not like an expert on the aliens or something. It's a cool theme. It's like yeah. to not know like you could how wounded it really is. You could yeah. flip a, uh, you know, yeah, exactly. I think that's kind of neat. Like, oh, this you could have an alien. It already has two damage on it walking around, but then it you go to shoot it again and you do maybe one more or two more. You but still aren't five armor. Yeah. yeah, you had it's... stuff that's five, and you had stuff that yeah. was two. Yeah, I think all the more leads to the unpredictable nature of the aliens, which I think is the whole point. Like you're not, yeah. no one's a monster hunter in this. No one is, you know, yeah. no one's Ripley going around and We're, wrecking him. But right, regardless of your ammo, you could spend all your ammo and then he just runs away. Yeah, true. <laughs> so yeah. like that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they go back in the vent and their damage. Yeah, their damage gone, goes away. They go back into the bag. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of cool stuff going on in this one. I, it's kind of a neat, um, you know, personal objective sort of betrayer mechanic, but everybody has their own goals. I think that's yeah. a really neat concept to the game, and I think the theme is neat. Uh, the alien minis are obviously cool. I think that's a, I mean, it's a big draw initially when you see the game. It's like, wow, look at these cool aliens. They got, you know, they got the, these all have like the sun drop, um, 
basically it's a shade that they put on it for for the prototype on here. But this is an option you can get on the Kickstarter is to get them get them like this basically with the, yeah. the shade in the in the blood and stuff. It's funny because if you think it's an alien hunting game and then you see how large one is compared to a person, yeah. Like, yeah, that's pretty intense. And, like, when these, as they think they're called breeders, yeah. when the giant dudes come in, like, that's insane. Or like, the queen. Yeah. It's supposed to be gigantic, I think. And I think that really says it all right there. Like, yeah. you're yeah. not going to destroy that thing. You're not just wiping out armies. Yeah. 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 yeah, suppressing if fire. you get a kill or two, good. You right. Know? Yeah, and there's no reward for that. I mean, yeah. there there yeah. is an objective to kill the queen, which is yeah, hard in itself. But my objective for the first game was kill the queen and blow or blow up the ship. And I was like, "Yep, gonna blow the ship up." <laughs> yeah. That's another awesome thing we didn't talk about. Is oh, like, yeah. yeah, you can you can set the self destruct at, in the generator room, which is always going to be in the game, and it immediately puts a token with basically five rounds left, and people have three rounds to get in there and cancel the action yeah. if they don't get it. The game is going to end in three rounds and the ship's going to blow up. up. Yeah. So everybody's either got to be in the escape pods or it's all done. There's so, so much variability. I really like that. It's it's yeah. You're never going to... It's not going to be the same game every time you play. A, your objectives are different. B, the rooms that spawn, like... The order where they are. rolling and how many aliens show up. Like, yeah. those are always going to be very... Like, the fact that, like I said, we spawn maybe five, six aliens and, like, we either killed two or three and then two or three disappeared into the vents. Like... Yep. It was a low alien game, but it was still really t intense. Like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I think that'll wrap it up for us. Thank you for checking this out. This is the Nemesis prototype from Awakened Realms. You can still check that out on Kickstarter for maybe just a couple more days by the time we get this out here. We had had this ready probably about a week ago, but when we were sitting right here, water started falling down from the ceiling, and we had a major plumbing emergency. <laughs> so that's mostly repaired now. Anyway, thank you again for watching. We'll catch you again next time.